Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about CW radar with non-zero IF receiver. CW radar with non-zero IF receiver. What do you mean by non-zero IF receiver and zero IF receiver? So, if you see the name, non-zero IF receiver means IF receiver is present in the receiving section. IF amplifier is present in the receiving section. Zero IF receiver is nothing but there is no IF amplifier component involved in the receiver section. The basic block diagram of CW radar if you observe, there is no IF receiver. So what is the basic block diagram we have seen? Uh, in the transmitting section, we have a CW transmitter. The output of the CW transmitter is given to the antenna and during reception the signal will be going to the mixer first stage is mixer the output of mixer is given to beat frequency amplifier because the input frequency is fd and it is given to beat frequency amplifier beat frequency amplifier and then it is given to some output display now in this, there is no involvement of IF amplifier. There is no IF amplifier in the basic CW radar block diagram. So, in basic CW radar, there is no IF amplifier. So, as there is no IF amplifier, it is known as zero IF receiver. So, the receiver used in basic CW radar was a zero IF receiver. Zero IF receiver means no IF component is involved, no intermediate frequency is involved. So, if you see this block diagram, there is no intermediate frequency. There is no intermediate frequency. When the intermediate frequency come into existence, if a local oscillator is used with a different frequency, heterodyning should be there, then the IF frequency will be generated and there is no such process has been done in this basic CRO, basic uh, CW radar. So, that's why it is a zero IF receiver. Now, what is the necessity to convert a zero IF receiver into a non-zero IF receiver? Now, what we are doing is we are using a IF amplifier section and we are converting the receiver section of this CW radar. That means we are adding the intermediate frequency component, then it becomes non-zero IF receiver. Okay, so we are incorporating Intermediate frequency amplifier section, IF amplifier section in CW radar block diagram. So, now the basic block diagram will be modified and redrawn in terms of IF amplifier so that it will become a non zero IF amplifier because, it, because the IF amplifier component is present. So, that is why it becomes a non zero IF amplifier. What is the necessity to go? Why we need to use? a non-zero IF receiver instead of zero IF receiver because to avoid flicker noise to avoid flicker noise what do you mean by this flicker noise what do you mean by this flicker noise flicker noise is more yet receiver input stays yet receiver input stays when there is a less input frequency flicker noise flicker noise present yet receiver input stage flicker noise present at receiver input stage. So, it is generated only at the receiver input when if the input frequency is very less then flicker noise is more. Both are inversely proportional to each other. So, we can say flicker noise 
is proportional to 1 by input frequency whole power alpha. 1 by input frequency of the receiver whole power alpha. Where alpha is an arbitrary constant which is approximately equal to 1. Arbitrary constant which is equal to normally we will consider 1. So, then what happens? The flicker noise is proportional to. So, flicker noise. Flicker noise is proportional to 1 by frequency of the receiver at the input. Okay. Frequency of the receiver at the input. So, now what happens in the basic block diagram? What is the problem with the basic block diagram? Whether the flicker noise is more or not? So, if you see the basic block diagram of the CW radar, here the input signal frequency we are receiving F0 plus or minus Fd and here it is coming F0. So, what is, what is the amount of frequency that enters into the receiving section? These two subtracted and only Fd remains. Only FD remains. So, in standard CW radar, in standard CW radar, FD is the input frequency for the receiver. Okay. Fd is the input frequency. Now, if Fd is less value, then flicker noise is more. If Fd is more value, then flicker noise is less. But what about the Fd value? Fd is nothing but a Doppler shift. Fd is nothing but a Doppler shift, which is having in the order of like 100 hedges to, probably it is in the value of 100 hedges to 1000 Edges. Very, very less frequency will be there in the Doppler frequency shift. So, FD is having a value that is ranging from 100 hedges to 1000 hedges, which is very low value, which is very low value. So, because of this low value, what about the flicker noise? Flicker noise is more. Flicker noise is more in the standard CW radar. Okay, so flicker noise is more in the standard CW radar because the input frequency is very less that is only in the order of 100 to 1000 hedges. That's why what we need to do, we need to improve the amount of frequency that enters into the receiver input. So if the frequency is more, what about the flicker noise? Flicker noise will be reduced. This is the concept. Okay, so in order to reduce the flicker noise, we need to increase the input frequency. So, in order to reduce the flicker noise, the input frequency of the receiver should be should be increased. The input signal frequency of the receiver should be increased. So, for this we are adding some intermediate frequency component to the through the mixer and thereby frequency will be increased. So, the modified block diagram will be like this. This is the modified block diagram to increase the input frequency to avoid the flicker noise and this block diagram is known as a CW radar with non-zero IF receiver because intermittent frequency component will be presented here. Okay, so now it becomes see the block diagram. Uh, here isolation is also provided along with that isolation is also incorporated which I have already discussed in the previous topic. Isolation between transmitter and receiver is also necessary. Okay, that's why we are using two separate antennas. Isolation because of two separate antennas gives more isolation than any other method. Okay, so isolation part is also added here. See, this is transmitting antenna. Transmitting antenna, we have the transmitter section CW transmitter with a frequency F0. CW transmitter with a frequency F0. 
So the output of this F0 is transmitted through this antenna into the free space. Okay. Now, as a leakage signal, the frequency F0 is taken into the receiving section. Frequency F0 is taken into the receiving section. So this is mixer. Mixer is having the input one is from the leakage signal that is from the transmitter and another one is from the oscillator which is the intermediate frequency generator. See this is intermediate frequency, intermediate frequency generator. Okay, intermediate frequency generator which is a local oscillator that generates FIF. FIF is nothing but intermediate frequency that is added with this leakage signal F0 and FIF. These two are added and produces three different frequency components, two different frequency components along with one center frequency like this. Center frequency is F0 and it is added with two frequencies F0 minus FIF and it is F0 plus FIF. Okay, these are the three different frequency components can be generated after this mixing. So, the output of this mixer again passing through sideband filter. What is the use of sideband filter? See here, we know uh, we have you might have studied in the analog communication the sidebands along with center frequency, center frequency is F0. Uh, uh, except this central frequency, the information in side bands is same. Whatever the information is there in this band, here also it will be having the same information. So, as the two side bands is having same information, just one side band is sufficient. So, that's why one side band is eliminated with this side band filter. So, we can take either F0 plus IF or F0 minus IF. Now, coming to Receiving signal, suppose if any object is there, the signal will touch this object and reflect it back. If this object is in motion, definitely the resultant signal will be having F0 plus or minus Fd. So, F0 plus or minus Fd, these two are mixed together. F0, F0 gets cancelled and we will be having Fif plus Fd. See what is the amount of input frequency now it is entering into the receiving section. It is now F0, FIF plus or minus FD. Previously it was only Doppler frequency FD, but now it is intermediate frequency FIF is also being added. Okay, so as it is added, now the frequency of the uh, input uh, receiver is very high. Now the flicker noise is reduced. Okay, so FIF plus FD as intermediate frequency component is added, we need uh, the IF amplifier. After that second detector, what is the purpose of second detector to eliminate, to eliminate FIF, intermediate frequency is not used here, we have only FD, we need only FD, FIF has to be eliminated, so FIF is eliminated through the second detector, after that FD is only remain, that Doppler frequency component should be amplified and it is indicated by a pair of earphones. Okay, ultimately we need FD component, always we need FD component, but because of the elimination of uh, uh, flicker noise, we are incorporating such other blocks. Okay, so this is about CW radar with non-zero F receiver. Thank you.